Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I just got finished watching for the second time Dr. Jekyll's Dungeon of Death. This is a really under the radar weird movie that Vinegar Syndrome put out, and recently it went out of print. They do uh, this thing called the Vinegar Syndrome Archive line, I believe, VSA, and they'll put out a certain number of them. So they'll say, three or four thousand or five thousand or whatever. Um, a recent one that I picked up was Champagne and Bullets. But that being said, this one just went out of print. It's in full to watch on both Tubi TV, which is free, and YouTube I've seen it uploaded as well. The movie, I think, would have... It's so weird and underground that I'm sure a lot of people hadn't seen it. I know a lot of people in my Facebook groups were very excited to see it when it first got released and they really hated it. I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. The movie is was made by this guy who is normally just an actor and he, I guess, decided to take a chance doing his own film and this is the outcome. The main plot is the, the guy who's making the film, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, he is playing Dr. Jekyll, you know, from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Dr. Jekyll has a great-great-grandson, I think, and he's the great-great-grandson. And he's doing these experiments in this house or mansion of his where he is injecting people with serum to make them rage and kill each other to try and find, like, the perfect killing machine. It's sort of a strange, muddy area in terms of what his... Uh, at least I couldn't, maybe I was half asleep, but I couldn't really fully figure out his goals. Um, so a lot of it is exposition between the Dr. Jekyll's great-grandson and whoever, and then long scenes of pretty pretty good martial arts. So you'll see like fighting and pretty good choreographed type of action scenes or people beating the crap out of each other. And that's kind of the gist of the film. It's him talking to someone, trying to get them in on his experiments, the person saying, you're crazy, I don't want to have anything to do with you and your nutty experiments, and then they show, you know, eight minutes of two people fighting. <laughs> and all the while he's trying to, like, win over this girl, and I can't tell if he had tested on the girl already and she's a little zonked out, or what, and maybe he's trying to figure out how to get her back. I, it, was, it was a little muddy for me. But overall, it's an interesting concept, and I... Definitely kudos to whoever, I can't think of his name right now, and my phone isn't here, so I can't even look up his name, for kind of doing something with his own vision that sort of is an interesting idea. I think that there's a little too much fighting in martial arts for someone that went into this looking for a horror movie, plus the cover of the movie, at least for the Blu-ray, looks like there's going to be sleaze and nudity. There's none of it. There's no gore, there's no blood, and there's no nudity. So a lot of people were turned off by that as well. Um... The end of the movie was decent. It's not a long movie per se. It's like 88 minutes. My only real big gripe about the film, and again, this is the one I watched online, so I think the Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray, if you do track it down, uh, which is going to get more and more expensive as time goes on, the streams were very, very dark. So there's tons of scenes with very dark backgrounds where you're just seeing people's like faces almost talking to each other. I don't know if that was done on purpose because... Supposedly the Vinegar Syndrome one is really cleaned up. There's a lot of nice colors and the people are wearing red and there's a lot of black backgrounds, but the red really throws it off. So it may have been on purpose. Uh, I don't know if they meant to make it that dark. But <clears throat> either way, it's an interesting experiment in terms of this film that came out. I don't necessarily think it's a great film. I don't know who I would recommend this to because it's not really good, but it's definitely intriguing. I kind of liked it. It's more martial arts than it is horror but there is that horror element with him you know experimenting on these people and them all going crazy and killing one another so it's kind of cool but it's just tons of fighting so dr jekyll's dungeon of death isn't really a recommendation for me if you like really weird underground stuff that you've most likely never heard of um you know a little on the slower side maybe check it out on tubi it is free it's not amazing it's not gonna knock your socks off or change your opinion of anything, but it's all right. You know, it's kind of a cool little film, um, but 
some people think it's the worst vinegar re syndrome release ever. So keep that in mind before you track it down. Thanks guys for watching. Let me know if you've seen Dr. Jekyll's Dungeon of Death, which is a mouthful, and if you did, what you thought of it. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.